it says we're not. We really need to fix that light over your thing or get you a light over that corner. It says we're on the air, but we must be on the air on the other channel. All right, what channel would that yep. be? Not this one. <laughs> Not this one. Well, good nope. to know, right? We're under the live stream. We're, so we're somewhere, but we're not where we know. Not where we know, as usual. Move. How is this happening, John? I don't understand why this keeps screwing up like this. They keep changing the buttons on this. People wish are showing up over wish there. Wish we'd done that live class. They're coming in. Okay. All right. I think we're live. Okay, good. We're live on the other channel, people. Let's pass the word out. Live uh, Ginger Snap Wednesday. And Sammy, buddy, I don't know what you're doing, but you're messing up this time. Here we go again. There you are, Ginger. All right. So welcome, everybody, to uh, Ginger Cook Live on Wednesdays. We don't know what channel we're on. This is <laughs> always such a mystery to us. And, you know got to figure that I'm sitting with like one of the number one technical wizards in the country, John Little, and when he's confused, I'm That's sorry about the rest thing. of us. You know, that is just sad. When John, when John's confused, you know, you expect me to be sort of confused. It's lucky I'm here at all. And, I, well, you know, we couldn't do this without him. Just bottom line, couldn't put this up without him. And when he moved down from Michigan uh, six months ago, what a huge difference that made. And just the way we're able to do live, because before he was in Michigan, and then I was here, and so, you know, just really we're limited to, you could just really just see my hands, that's all we could do. But anyway, I want to welcome everybody, if you're just stumbling around the internet, and somebody saw this live thing, and you're going, I wonder what that is, okay? Um, well, the only thing I can think of is our instant live that we did today might have messed up this evening's feed, the one that was already established. Well, that's true. We did an instant live today because we, um, we, we kind of missed the picture in a picture and there were some software updates on the box that does that. And then suddenly the picture in the picture feature was gone. And so John spent half a day trying to figure out that. And then we figured out we could do it on our Mac computer, not our PC. We've got a lot of computers. That, you can't believe the equipment we have to make to pull this off. So anyway, <laughs> we, um, John, uh, what are we running this on? Our Mac now? No, we're still on the PC. What we have for the Mac, we have Mac software that is a beta, and we will be doing the RAS on that for a while to see how it works. It works fantastic this afternoon. Absolutely no errors. It was a beautiful experience. We really enjoyed it. If you see me looking down, I'm putting out the paint. We are. We have got. I'm just going to hold this up to you. We have yeah, got the neatest picture. No Isn't error. this cool? This is called experience. Desert Flower. Are you talking? And I'm talking. It wasn't me as a computer. I have nothing to do with it. Well, why is the computer talking? Because I didn't turn the sound off. I didn't know it was on. Oh. It was on. So the computer just thought it was just, it just took up. It wanted to interrupt you. Can it you believe it? Ordinary I now think we, we should turn the computers now, off just, and yes, call it a night, people. Now our <laughs> machines are interrupting our show? I'm telling you, it's taking us. Taking it forever. Um, huh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Just, uh. That's a new one, isn't it? I, I didn't do it. It was the computer. <laughs> Talk to Isn't that uh, what you always tell me? Yeah. yeah but I, well, yes. Yeah. But, yeah. But, but that's a for, different but story. But for a different reason. Absolutely. For a different reason. Okay. Okay, so, you know, what we're doing, we're going to just do this. And I want to say that uh, we went live today, and I showed everybody uh, on the live thing. So if you were w with us last night, we painted this uh, picture, but you didn't know how I did the ground. And uh, we were going to put up the ground video, except that that didn't work. It, uh, for some reason, it was just garbled. So we had to reshoot the uh, ground, how we did the ground video today. So I did it on a big, long canvas. So if you want to know how we did that. And then I want to thank uh, Mona in, uh, in Sweden, because uh, we've been using absorbent ground. I showed uh, you guys how to do that. And um, Mona came up with the recipe on how to make it yourself. And uh, Sammy and I and were going to try and that. And John's going to see if that works. I mean, I don't know. I've never done that. I've never tried to make it. But one day we're going to see John get out the, you know, the chemistry thing, and he's going to he's going to see if we can't uh, create our own um, 
uh, absorbent ground and we'll compare it to the stuff that uh, comes out of the jar that you buy for 32 bucks and we'll see how that works. How's we'll that? do a quick uh, price comparison too to make sure it makes sense. Yeah, we'll do it. a price comparison to see what it ma if it makes sense. So anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. And also not everybody can get uh, golden. It's, you, maybe you live somewhere where you can't get golden, but you can get this other stuff. So we'll, we'll give you the heads up on that as soon as we have it. And in the meantime, we're going to start with an 8x10 canvas. And um, I want to just uh, say if you're new to our channel, if you haven't subscribed and you think this would be fun, please do so now and then hit that little bell button underneath the subscription deal. And It's um, not guaranteed you'll be notified in time. It's supposed to tell you when we're on. But you know what? We were on today live just with this sort of impromptu thing to see if our toys were working. And we had somebody was at the doctor's office watching it. And we had somebody at and Walmart. And Wendy was in Walmart walking around watching us. Thank you, Wendy. With Love her phone watching our live stuff. <laughs> and we had people all over. We had over 100 people who just stumbled across us this afternoon. And, and for the, it was that 20-minute show, it was pretty good. And I've got some important announcement concerning that, uh, that paint problem we were having. Uh, from Actually, I'm going to have an important announcement. I'm going to actually read you from... Jerry's Artorama from the Corporate head of marketing and, and customer service. Jerry's Artorama, I've actually got an email. We've been on the phone with them uh, this morning. First thing this morning, I got a hold of uh, Jerry's and, and, um, and emailed uh, to, you know some of the powers that be up there. And they were very surprised to learn about that there was an issue with the, uh, this, this white, uh, certain jar of white paint that was the 250 millimeter jar of white paint. Milliliter. And, milliliter, whatever. And, um, <laughs> That's a weird word, millimeter. It was not a millimeter. Mill 25 millimeters? Well, hello? That's like inches. Oh, here's 25 inches of paint. We had problems with 25 inches of paint. That's what you're telling the people. I don't think that's right. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. <laughs> milliliters. You never think you're wrong. <laughs> And then, you know, the bad thing is he usually isn't. So, okay. So, <laughs> all right. All right. Details. Details. The, the mysteries and the details. But anyways, this jar of paint that some of us got. And, and, and listen, it's like looking a gift horse in the mar mouth because we really, we got them all. All of us got them free. So, it's a kind of nervy for us to be whining in the first place. But, you know, even then we want the products to work. And so, I've got this great letter said we've got a, such a great solution. You're going to be so proud of how this was resolved. And I want to... Thank uh, my good friend Daniel Elliott down at Jerry's Autorama because he's the first person I called and he gave me the inside scoop of who to really call. So you want this solved? He says, I'm going to call him and then they'll be calling you. So Daniel Elliott, our, my good friend down there, um, Jerry's he's Autorama, a, uh, Jerry's in, Houston. Autorama in Houston, he's the one that really is the hero in this deal. So he started I, the ball I, I want to take the credit. And gosh, I would like to sit there and say, and it's true I was on the phone a lot, but let me tell you. It was Daniel that did it. So shout out to Daniel, you guys. And um, anyway, we're going to sand this tape. Oh, sand yeah. Hold it. Can you hold it closer to your microphone so we can hear you sand it? <laughs> <laughs> you brought right up to the microphone. You usually don't do that. What is it tonight with you? Are you just trying to make me deaf tonight? <laughs> I'm just trying to understand my position here tonight. <laughs> okay. Should I have the bear run? Down, down. <laughs> Shoot down on the um, okay. cable, please. Here we Let's go. just get away from me now because, uh, you know, I will, I will just be laughing. I won't be able to do anything here. There All we right. are. <laughs> I got my picture in picture working. Okay. Now I can still smile to the camera. Smile to the camera. <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> Wait, what camera are you looking at? I give up. What camera am I looking Where at? Where are you looking when you're looking I'm over I'm looking here? right there. No, don't look there. Look at the camera. You see the camera? This it's camera. It's in front of the monitor. Oh, hi. <laughs> Is this the first time? Are you really ginger? Hello. I'm a walk-in. <laughs> I'm a walk-in. This is a look-alike. Ginger, ginger needed a nap and I took over. I'm sorry. Oh, no telling where we're going to get tonight, people. <laughs> ginger needed a nap. I took over. We're like twins. Like, who would know, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the big secret out there. Ginger's twin took over. Uh, Just call me Virginia. Virginia. All right. All right, so here we go. We sanded this like that. We're going to do that. We sanded that, right? Do you guys want to see what we're painting? Oh, Isn't that, is, that pretty? I, I love that. Don't you think this is pretty? I you do. know why we think this is pretty? And you're going, I give up, Ginger. Why? Don't you love that? I give up. Because Get the color wheel. The I color wheel. Here's the deal. Look at the color wheel. It's like a color wheel, isn't it? Yeah. It looks the it color really wheel kind of goes. And what, what happened here? What's opposite yellow on the color wheel? 
the purple violet. Purple violet. Look at that. So when you start um, making stuff up and saying, okay, I'm going to have a purple violet cactus uh, plant here with a yellow flower, everybody's going, oh, yummy, that's so nice, right? Because honest to gosh, this is what, uh, you know, what they look like, right? And, you know, how fun is that to paint? So I think I might make that into a painting at some point. That's not that interesting. I thought, well, what this needs is flowers. The genesis of this was, I felt this needed flowers, okay? And then I thought, well, I'll just hunt around the internet and find something, a photograph of some cactus with flowers. And I found this. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. And then I saw more colors in this. So I sort of did a combination of these two pictures. I didn't copy this, but I did use this as a reference. See the difference in copying and reference? Mm -hmm. I did. So that's, that's our reference, and that's, that was the genesis of this. And, um, and, and, that, and the reason it looks good is because any time, this is like your cheat sheet. Um, any time you start putting colors together that look fabulous, like orange opposite turquoise or purple off of, of uh, yellow and stuff like that, it's like eye candy. And everybody goes, mmm, yum, mm. <laughs> Yeah. So just keep that in mind. That's one of your little tricks as artists is to keep it up. Now, um, and like last night we did that too, even though it's not as obvious. Last night we did red and green. You know, red is opposite green on the color wheel, okay? But we could have done any number of these, uh, you know, different colored flowers. We could have done something sort of purple-like leaves and maybe some yellow tulips. Could have done a lot of different things. All right, so now, you know, normally you'd think you'd start off with an underpainting, but we're going to simplify this tonight, and then I want to read it at the announcement. Do we have a few folks showed up? Is it time to read my announcement yet? We only have 269 people watching, so I think so. I think so. All right, well, thanks, you guys. Okay, so here's what happened. John did this nifty, um, I want to just talk about this for a second. John did this nifty video, uh, you may have seen it, and it was uh, about a sale we had at Jerry's. And if you bought three tubes of white paint, they gave you a whole bunch of free white stuff, paint. And so he unpacked the box, and we were showing you how to check the packing list off. And everybody was happy as clams, and a lot of you said, oh my gosh, what a great sale, because who doesn't like free stuff? I certainly like free stuff. I'm all about free stuff. Absolutely. Um, anyway, so... Uh, Anyway, uh, a bunch of you guys went out and bought some. And then somebody emailed me and said, oh, by the way. That was Kelly. Gave that us was a heads Kelly. Up. Gave us a heads up and said, you better open it because the stuff I got wasn't, was, it was good. It was kind of solid chunky in there, like chunks, you know. And so I opened it yesterday on the air, and sure enough, there it was. The big tall jar was fine, and the tubes were fine, but this was chunky. So anyway, this is the, uh, and some of the others, of you ha had that experience. We had all kinds of people write us and tell us that. So here's the letter from Corporation, Jerry's Artorama Corporate, from our friend, and his name is a new, new best friend here, because I'd never talked to him before today, but he's now my friend. Doesn't that sound, it sounds good? <laughs> all right, um, this is Stephen Gilmore, and he wrote, Jerry's, Dear Ginger, Jerry's Artorama would like to offer our sincere apologies in regard to the issue that has resulted from our Matisse white paint in the 250 millimeter containers. We have isolated this issue with a batch number which is parentheses H O dash four four three zero four which is found on the label of the jar. And it's somewhere on here. It's over by the barcode. It's over by the barcode you guys. Ah here, right there, by the barcode. Yeah, it's underneath. There it is eight. right there. We kind of wrote over it, but there it is, right? Yeah. So, um, uh, uh, 430, okay, so that, going on to say, which is found on the label of the jar. We notified the manufacturer promptly about this issue, and they're in Australia, by the way, and this is Jerry's in North Carolina, and they have notified us today to dispose of this product. Just the white thing, not all their paints. They ever made just that one jar, okay? <laughs> don't go in panic mode. Don't panic, just, just this. We are working on a resolution to replace the paint for anyone affected and also working with the manufacturer to see if any if there's anything additional they would like to do in regards to this situation we will be working to resolve this as quickly as possible in the interim I would like each customer that has been affected to contact me at Stephen G at Jerry's Artorama.com now Stephen is S T E V E N the letter G at jerrysartorama.com. Please email me with your name, address, and this number of the and the number of bottles you received that were affected. 
I will then contact you back as soon as I have a resolution. And again, I apologize that we had, uh, apologize that what we had hoped would be a wonderful benefit to our customers ended up with a faulty product and a frustrating experience. I look forward to resolving this for everyone. Sincerely, Stephen Gilmore's Jerry's Artorama. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to resolve it. We've got an issue, so it's no longer an issue. Like I said earlier today, I've been dealing with this company for over 10 years, and I think their customer service is exemplary, and Stephen certainly has... Uh, you know, I've done himself in getting to the bottom of this. So look for that. Just be sure to uh, write him, and um, we will Jordan. put his email in our. Um, Kim Sim did. She put it there. Then do, do, don't we have to put it in the little? We're not going to put it in the description. Not putting it in the description. No. Okay. No, you got to watch it. We, we, you got to watch it to get it because we got to protect his email from robots going out and finding that email and just spamming them. Okay, so we're protecting him. All right, so John knows all these things. All right, so that's that's resolved. So let's get to painting this. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw this in using the finger method. We I love know the you finger love method. the finger method, don't you? Everybody has the same size hands. That's right. That's right. <laughs> just just deal with it, John. Everybody, <laughs> just that's right. Everybody has the same size hands. So I'm going to take some yellow, here, some yellow new pastel chalk, and I'm going to just move my paints out of the way. The paints we're using tonight, though, you know, I wouldn't put them out right in a second, is Dosnine Purple, Magenta, a Southern Ocean Blue. If you don't have that, then you're going to use Thalo Green, Thalo Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Cad Red Medium, Cad Yellow Medium, Yellow Oxide, Titanium White, Zinc White or Mixing White, and Burnt Sienna and Dazzling Purple. And I'm sure now everybody has asked this question a lot. So everybody now knows the difference between titanium white, which is opaque, and zinc white, or, trans or a transparent mixing white, which is transparent. Ah, there's the tricky, opaque, transparent, you know. Um, don't you remember that expression when you were kids, you're a better door than a window. Your sister's sitting in front of the TV and oh, you yeah. say things like, you're a better like door than a window. window, even yeah. though you are a pain. Remember yeah. that? Oh, yeah. 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 Remember those Got that one a lot. Yeah, you got that one a lot. And uh, then John told me a new one tonight, I'll have to tell you. I had never heard, but he's from Kansas. Okay, so. I'm not from Kansas. Ohio. Remember we had this conversation about Ohio? You don't even know where I'm from. Who are you? You really aren't ginger tonight. Virginia, go away. <laughs> I want my ginger back. You said Kansas. No, you asked where Dorothy's from. <laughs> well, details. Okay. All right. So, so you don't even listen to me. All Who right. did I take to dinner tonight? Oh, I'm really confused now. All right. I'm going to go about five fingers up on a diagonal. Put a, put a dot right there. And I'm going to do that on the other side here. Five fingers like that. Put a dot. Okay. And then I'm going to do that way. Oh, that's good. Dot. <laughs> Oh, isn't that good? That's like a hands with. All right, now, we're going to make this flower. And we're not going to do the stupid traceable stuff because you guys are better than that. All right, so here's what we're going to do, you guys. We got a flower. So if we have a flower that's almost a square, like that, right? So all we're seeing happen here is that we've got some petals. And they're coming around like this, like this. And then maybe it's a little sharper here. And then it comes in the corner, something like that, all right? And then we might come up here and say, okay, let's round this up a little bit, like that. So it's a little bit more of a circular, kind of an oval circular thing. Maybe I'll bring this out a little bit, okay, like that. And then this will be the center. I mean, this is really a simple flower, you know, it's just like so simple. All right, so now that you know how simple that flower was, I know you're relieved, okay. That's a very simple flower. So, so I'm going to just sit here and say that um, I've got this, uh, this flower that's just kind of come around here like this. And um, I'm just going to make it. It's just sort of, it's kind of, there you go, and there's the center. I like that. And then uh, from here, I'm just going to come in here and about halfway down, just kind of, let's see, let's make that darker brown so you can see it. Brown, brown, brown. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Hmm, something. I want you to see this, though. Here, I'll make it blue. I like this. All right. So here we go. So now we're going to come here like this and make this shape of a, of a cactus petal. All right. And then I've got one coming here from the corner like this. See that they kind of, they're almost touching here. And then I've got, uh, here's the outside of my flower in case you were having trouble seeing it now. And I'm going to kind of put, make a little point here like this. Come down around here like that and there's my center. And then I've got something going off this way. And then over here, I've got a really nice rounded one here like that. Kind of a half, half of a circle, right? Then I've got one coming up here in the corner. 
another one here kind of hiding then we've got we've got a nice green one that's going to come this way and look it's okay if you don't have it exactly like that it's all right because now look again at our look at the shape of these things okay these are just kind of little oops like little ovals right and kind of little fat ones with little chunks taken out of them or something bit it off or something little odd things sticking up so this is really easy to do so this one i'm going to go if this is a clock Here's 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I think I need this coming from 9 o'clock. This one has to come from about 9 o'clock. This is a big round one. And then we've got another one that's kind of... Let's, let's bring this one up a little bit. All right. And then we got some other flowers. So, I mean, that's basically how simple this is to draw in. I know you just, you know, you're going, I don't know. So that's it. That, that's how simple it is to draw in. So now that we know that, you're going, I don't know. I didn't, do we know that? Like, what, what do we know? We're just doing that. We'll do the others later. We got that. People are saying that it's auto-focusing. Has anybody else seen it in auto-focus? Because I have that turned off, I think. Let me just zoom in for a second. That's as sharp as attack. Okay, so get, get back I, a little bit. All right, so here we go. So now let's get some brushes out. Let's paint something. Oh, I say, you guys, let's paint something. I say. So let's take a big brush like this. Here's a... This is a ruby satin silver number eight, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is take some uh, titanium white. And uh, let's paint this a white flower here with a tiny bit of yellow with it because we're going right over the canvas here like this. White and a little bit of yellow, yellow oxide, or rather uh, cad yellow medium. White, yellow, like that. All the brush strokes going in toward the center like this. Going to paint this in. Remember, acrylics are all about layers, so it always looks crummy before it looks good. So. Just if you can get that into your head. Some of you just stop. <laughs> I don't want to say this, but some of you stop before it gets good. you got to keep going here, right? Because it's always this sort of this weird stage. And some of you look at that and just give up. Don't give up. Just keep going. It's about layers. Dry and layer. The biggest problem I'm seeing with stuff people are saying to me that aren't part of our academy. If you're our academy members, I, I haven't run into this, but I have it with some of the other people, our, our acrylic academy, is that um, you're not drying. If you're not drawing in between layers, you run into a problem here. All right, so there's my first, um, that's my first uh, flower, and I'm going to leave that. I, that. I needed a big flower, so everything else is coming off of that. So let's take a little bit of phthalo blue now, and a little yellow, and let's make this bright green color. All right, now, that's, now let's add some white to that. That's an interesting green, okay? Now that is a little bit um, bright, so let's take a little burnt sienna and dull that down. Now we're going to gray it because because burnt sienna's got some red in it. We're going to gray this green down like that. Maybe add a little bit of ultramarine blue red shade because that's that's perfect. See that because that's got a little bit of red in it. Now let's just come on up here. Look at that beautiful blue. It's almost an antique blue, isn't it? So now we're going to come up here and we're going to paint this this one first layer this color blue. So anyway, so John's sitting there telling me this story. It was really kind of windy, and we were going out when we were going out to shopping tonight. And uh, let's see, I need a little water in my cup. And so he grabs my hand as we're walking out of the car. And what did you say to me? You said uh, I hold on to him. I go Annie M, Annie M. He holds on to me, going Annie M, Annie M, right? And I'm going, what are you talking about? You know, he says you didn't, didn't do that. I said no. What are you talking about? Well, he's talking about the Wizard of Oz, and he said when he grew up in the Midwest, Midwest, <laughs> or apparently there's just one big windstorm that goes across there all day long. When it gets windy, that was the joke they said, was and I am and the, the quote from the Wizard of Oz when Dorothy... I can't believe you never heard that. Uh, is anybody else anybody ever else heard, heard of that? that? Come on, come on. Come on Back me up on this, that. people. Where are my tractor and barn people? Back me up on this one. I, I just don't know what he's talking about. Okay, and I'm going to put Ginger, some... Ginger, you never saw The Wizard of Oz? I That's saw The Wizard of Oz. John, we all saw The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> we just, uh, I did see it like, I get, apparently I'm going to add a little more phthalo blue to this now, and I'm going to come up here like that next to this one. Now it's Kimson's slightly different it. blue. Thank you. Kimson, Kimson, Wind, really? Wind, Wendy's you, heard it. Really? Zoe's heard it. Really? Barbara Z's heard it. Wow, now I'm just feeling um, left out. Oh, uh, no, Minette said never. Never. Okay. Yay, Manette. Never heard of it. Okay. <laughs> now, we used to say things. I mean, you talk about things. You know, a lot of this stuff is regional. I understand that. Like we said... But you didn't have wind out in Washington? It just rained. It just oh. rained. It just rained. The one time we had an earthquake when I was a kid, and I can remember something. I still have this vision of people out there trying to 
keep the tree from falling down with ropes, something like that. Maybe it was after the earthquake they were trying to shore it up. So we had a big tree in the front yard. Remember that? I have vivid memories of that, but no. Mar um, Marty's asking, why didn't she paint the canvas first? Um, because she's being different tonight. Because um, this isn't really Because ginger, we're layering this is everything. And I, I tell you what, that, that so we would have had to paint this flower white, then yellow, right? So I'm kind of doing my underpaintings. I'm doing my underpaintings for these things petal by petal. How's that? <laughs> that, that, that makes sense, right? And I'm going to add some more yellow to this. A little bit of burnt Basically, sienna. you're just blocking it all in with the underpainting. So I'm blocking it in. I'm blocking all this in. Here's this color. See, I'm kind of in my greens. I'm blocking it all in. We've got to layer it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And it's just, uh, I, when I painted that, I just painted it real dark and then went over it. And this is just going to be easier, okay? And now let's see, do I have this green somewhere else? I have it up here. So I'm going to put that green kind of, now you saw how I made that same greens we've been doing. Just added more yellow and burnt sienna and I got this sort of army green. Yes, and I'll do. put a little of that over here, like that. See, just kind of add that. Now, right now, we haven't done anything too tricky. Nothing too tricky. Is that green anywhere else? Well, you know what? There's a little of that green right here, and I'll put a little white with it as long as I'm playing, like that. Right there, see? Right on this edge while it's still wet. Look at that. So put that some of that color right there. Bring it around. All right, now let's see where else can I put this green. Um, let's see if I add a little bit more ultramarine blue with that and a little bit more yellow and a little tiny bit of phthalo. Here's a darker green and some cad red. See, I'm using the same brush, a little more blue. Now I've got a darker green that's going kind of right in here, I think, next to that one. Let's just darken this one up. All right, like there. So it's anywhere else. And um, how about some phthalo now? Now, bear with me. Now, I want you to see how I'm just using the same brush, mixing these colors. Here's some phthalo blue now and white and the same greens we were just playing with. This is a good exercise, and here's why. Because you, I want you to see all the greens we've got going. Just from, I haven't rinsed the brush. We've just been playing with... And this is why you don't buy greens. This is why we don't buy greens. That's right. And um, you see there's some green there. Let's see, we had... Uh, Kathy, Do we want like any of this color right there? Yeah, maybe a little bit of that color right on part of that one. And how about here? Do you want any of the darker green up here like this? Maybe up here in the corner? So you always say, where else can I stick it, right? All right, now, so, so far so good. Nothing's happened. Kathy wants to know what? Kathy would like to know, why do you pref prefer Matisse paints and the reason? Um, well, really, honestly, um, I like Matisse. I like gold and I like Liquitex. When I started teaching at Jerry's, they were, um, you know, years ago, uh, you know, uh, 10 years ago, they were, um, they had a deal on Matisse for the whole country, and they were the only ones that carried it, and um, I could get a better, actually, it was a little less money, it was the same quality paint, it wasn't quite so much, it's a lot more money in Australia, the Australians pay more money, more, sorry, Sylvia, you guys pay more for it than we do, um, and so I just, uh, but I, I like, um, there's a lot of things to be said for all paint, okay? Now, here's what you can say about Liquitex. Shall I tell you? Yeah. They've got self-cleaning caps. You never fool around trying to get the cap back on, and they're nice and big, and if you have any kind of arthritis or anything in your hands where caps are a problem, that's a lovely paint, and there's nothing wrong with this. It's nice. I like it, okay? And um, Golden is very nice. It has a, a very nice quality. It's made in the United States, so when you buy... Um, for those of you who are living in the United States, uh, let's say I'm take a little bit of Southern Ocean Blue now, a little bit of white, and add that to my green here. And um, I'm going to come up uh, here. Now look here, just add, add that. So a little bit of blue, then I'm going to wipe my brush and just uh, kind of use the side of it like that and kind of soften that. See, now I've got two colors going. See, All right, where else could I put that? Maybe over here too, a little bit of light color here, a little bit more white. Look, see, this is set up enough. So I, I don't know that I like it better than anybody else. I like it well and I use it. But I, um, um, there's That's a lot of colors thing. that I like. Now I'm taking a little bit of phthalo blue and coming in the corner here. I haven't rinsed my brush. Just coming in the corner and I'm kind of darkening up this corner. Do you see? It's almost like a, think of this as like a puzzle, okay? So we're just pulling in some pieces. So here's a little phthalo blue and um, Southern Ocean blue. And... I'm going to come around here like this and put this one in right here and paint this paint this in. Maybe a little bit of zinc white with it. 
mixing white and kind of lighten it up a bit. Okay, so here's this one. This kind of kind of round shape. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, we've got a big one. We've got a big one right here. Right in here like that. Nice big one. Let's take a little bit of white and dosing purple now. Here like that. Here we're going to change colors on you. Here's some white and dosing purple. Okay, and I'm just going to paint that one purple. And white. Now my brush has got blue in it because I hadn't didn't rinse anything. All right. So here, so when I do that, it it's not actually purple anymore. See, this is one of the things where you can kind of you can get a sense of what we're doing here. All right. So there's this one. See, I've got that color. Now I've got a little bit of this purple color. Okay, coming up here. Do you see that? So as long as I've got it out, a little bit of white, a little bit of purple. I'm going to just um, tap that off. Now this is still wet, so it's not quite the color I want yet, but I can use the side of my brush and sort of blend that in. See like that? Now I'm starting to add some colors to here, and here's a little bit of this blue-purple color. And let's put that over here like that. So let's fill in this little space with color. And you know, when you're looking at this, you're going, this doesn't look like anything. I don't get it, but this is kind of, this is the job, you know. I guess that's the way I'd put it. This is the job. Here's a little bit of purple coming up under here like this. Now on this one, I'm widening this up, kind of blending that in. Uh, Frisky Chrissy has a question. Sure. Is there a reason you shouldn't use retarder to blend out a boo-boo instead of covering it up? Well, I don't know. I never use retarder because I just... I mean, I guess you could do that, you know. I don't know that there's a reason to do it or not. The thing about retarders is that they make them... Um, uh, they're, they're a little stickier. Does that make sense? Um, let's see. Let's take a little bit of more yellow with that. Add a little bit of white. A tiny bit of burnt sienna. Kind of, kind of dull that out. Here, let's just come next to here now. And um, kind of fasten, you know, get over here with this one. I like that color. Let's add a little bit of that right up here. Okay, where else can I put this color? Oh, we had a little bit here, maybe a little bit here. Remember, BK, we're layering. BKBRP64, do you wash your towels or throw them away? I'm I, afraid I just to throw them away. You can them wash them about chair. one time or two times. They kind of lit up the dryer, you know, but you can wash them. They, that don't, thing's not going to come out, but I, I usually buy a stack of these at, uh, at, at Jerry's. Uh, they Costco. last me a couple of years, not Jerry's, at uh, Costco. Costco. Okay, so now you see I've got, this is the, kind of the main colors here. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and sort of fill in the cracks. Here's some dark purple, little angle brush here. I'm just going to come in here like that now and just uh, start filling in between here like that. Okay, and just a little dozing purple. Come down here like that. And maybe, let's see, did I put the magenta out? I didn't. No, but you have two spots for it. I did. Where did I put it? Hmm. Ah, help? here it is. Ah, here it is. Okay, so, oh yeah, I have two spots for it. Look at that. Look at one there and one there. Good for me. There was a reason I was thinking about that. Just, uh, <laughs> well, we'll fake it, you know what I mean? I'm going to pretend like that was on purpose, John. <laughs> okay, so here we go. A little bit of dark right in here. A little bit of dark right next to our flower. Okay. Okay, now we're just kind of making this dark. Now it's starting to make sense, isn't it, a little bit? So no, as far as the paint goes, I mean, I like them all three. And those are my uh, favorite paints. There's some really nice acrylics in Europe. We don't get them here. Um, we, they just don't get here. So it's not. these are not the only acrylics on the planet. These are just the ones I have personal access to. How's that? Does that make sense? And, and I like them. And... Um, and I, and I like the colors. The student grade acrylics, when you buy student grade, you know, at some point you're not a student anymore. And why don't you give yourself permission not to be that? So adding a little bit of white here. See, I'm going to lighten up this here, like this little, this little cactus thing here. And just a little bit of white and magenta here. Wipe the, tap this off. Now look, we're going to, more white here. We're going to lighten up this edge. See? Using the flat and just barely touch it and just sort of start adding colors. Let you see how fun it is to add these colors. Here, let's take a little dark purple and blue and come in here like that. 
and uh, just make that dark right there next to these two. Okay, so pretty much most of the white's covered up on the canvas now, all right? So we haven't put any of the flowers in, but this is uh, other flowers. But we've got, we've got a lot of this covered up, and I think it was not a bad time to, um, you know, work on our, let's work on all our cactus, and then we'll come back and put those other flowers on top. You can kind of see what we're going with there. And if somebody's coming along going, what on earth is this lady painting? This is what we're painting, all right? So that's what we're painting. That's the ultimate goal. That's the ultimate goal. That's what we're painting. And uh, right now we're just kind of having a good time with all these colors. So here's a little light blue color. And I'm just going to put it up here on this, um, this uh, cactus. And then I'm going to blend in some green with it. Now look what happens. Like that. There's some purple on the brush, which is sort of blending in that too. See how that's kind of pretty? I mean, go for the happy accidents in the sense that when you get some color, like for instance, I know I want it very light, kind of yellow and white. I know I want it very light right here on this edge, right like that, okay? I know I want it light there. So then I'll just pinch the brush off, and then while this is still, still wet, we haven't dried anything, I'll just sort of blend it out like that. Okay, if you haven't seen my banana video on blending, I highly recommend you watch it because something like this seems hard when you look at the final product, but I want you to see how we're doing it. It's, it's pretty simple. Here's a little bit of mixing white. We're coming over here. The one thing about these cactus uh, um, plants is they're kind of had that dusty feel to them. You know, it's very dusty. And, all right, so let's round this off and lighten this up right here. Okay. Okay, pinch the brush, and then maybe get a different blue, put a little another blue here, and just take the side of it and just blend all this in. See how we're just kind of going over it? Think of chalk. Think of chalk as um, maybe a, an analogy for what we're doing, it, like if you were doing a pastel as far as the blending goes. Like here's some white, here's some magenta, sort of this pale pink color like that. The uh, banana video that she was mentioning is available on our website. It is a free one that you can watch. Okay. Go to our gingercooklive.gallery, and in the search or in the free lessons, you'll find it. In the search, put in banana. Yeah, okay. We have a question from Tina. Oh, I like Tina. Hi, Tina. Ginger, I have a question. I was asked to paint a mug for a friend, but never did one. Can I paint on the mug directly with acrylic, and should it be sealing it? If it's going to be oh, is she going to put it in the dishwasher? Is she going to put flowers in it and never get water on it? There's some. That's the problem. In you could you could paint on anything with acrylics, but it once it goes to the dishwasher, it's coming it's off. Be so off. The, yeah. people that so do that, now. they um, um, what they do is they um, they bake it. What you do is you paint the design and then take it to Walmart or one of your drugstores. And you have them um, for twenty bucks. They will put your painting on the mug, and she can put it in the dishwasher. Okay. Otherwise, you don't wash it. Yeah. So I mean, I'm just saying that now we're going to get a little blue in here. So kind of make this a little bluer down in here, like here toward the bottom. See, now we're starting to add some more color. See, everything. This gets prettier as we get. Um, all right of now this it's gets abstract. prettier as we add as we add color. See, now this is where. Ooh, you know, here's a little ultramarine blue. You're kind of showing the palette here. You see how I'm just starting to add the next layer of color, just putting that on like that. Okay. So you start putting it in here like this, and then let, let's see. How about a little bit of white and the purple? A little bit of white, white and purple. Let's come up here on this edge. Here, let's try that again. Right up here on this edge. I want this very light here. For those that are experiencing problems with the focus on the overhead, check your speed. I am not having a problem on my side, and I'm currently running at 720, I guess. It's and I can read purple. the labels on the on the right. palette. See how we're putting that on there? Okay, so this is a little bit... Um, that's, I think I'm okay with that. We're going to have a flower right there. All right, so I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, with this one, we got a little purple there. Let's come back with a little blue. Here you go. See another little bit of blue. Just barely touch it. Okay, okay. So as you can see, now we're um, we're, we're getting more color. I want to kind of warm this green up right here. Casper, so, I'd like to know what do you do with these small paintings when you're done with them? We hang them on the wall. <laughs> 
and because they're example paintings, so we hang them on the wall as their examples of each lesson. And some of them we're going to have up for sale here soon. Not all of them, but we'll be selling a few. We'll sell a few off. Uh, as we run out of wall space. We have a stack ready to go. Somebody just has to get on the website and do it. Well, every time we start to do something, something else breaks, and we're it, and it's a mad thing to push that. Like we were going to release the um, the the video for the wishing well, and then the video didn't come. The the video didn't record. Don't even I go there. I mean, it's there. just been one that thing after disastrous. another, and then I spent today redoing that. Okay. All right. So now let's see what else do I want to do here. So I'm just sort of playing around with colors, right, and, and shapes of things. Another question came up, and I forgot who asked it, and I apologize for that, but they asked, do you always use a color wheel? Uh, well, I just, no, I just know this stuff. But most people, if you don't most know your colors yet. Most if you don't yet, know it, you have to have one. Yeah. So since she's been I don't doing use it, so it because I've got one. I mean, this I have this color wheel in my head, but I get it out for you guys because I want you to understand, I'm one of these people who said, that's very, that's, I'm all happy you did whatever you did, right? Why did you do it, Right. That, and why did you do what? And why would you do what? And why does one painting look better? That the it's you know there's a cook on television and he goes and explains why you want your oven at three fifty and he gives you the why behind all the cooking. I forget who that guy is, but I love watching him because he does that, you know. I'm one of these people. I personally I'm happy to do whatever. Tell me why. Why am I doing it? Because if I know why I'm doing it, all right, we're going to get a little magenta here and just lighten that one up here like this. And uh, Kelly, Kelly's right on that told us about the problem with the paint. Kelly, we did read that last night. We did uh, take care of it. If, you've, if you came in late, go back to the beginning of this video that we're doing tonight and watch it. There is a resolution for that. Yeah, we got a nice letter from Matisse. I mean, you know, from the, the, the from corporate. Jerry, from Jerry corporate. Jerry's, rather. And I expect to hear from Matisse, too. So we thank you very much for bringing that to our attention. Because we would not have looked at that. We just put it up on the shelf until we get ready to do the wave and water. It might be a couple months before we get to it. So, Yeah, so ch yeah, you really saved us. Thank you very much. We never thought to look at that. So that's a good thing. All right, just see how we've got all these pretty colors in here now. All right. Now, this would be, um, this would be I think I've got enough of a background. When I come back here with my leaves, I'm not going to be too, you know, too, too discombobulated. Does that make sense? But discombobulated. I need a what does that really mean? Did this, when I looked that up in the dictionary, it doesn't say what discombobulated means. Really? Well, we don't know what to tell you. It's a, it's a good. It's, really? Really. They don't tell you? No. Mm, that's too bad. <laughs> they should tell you. All right. So I've got some southern ocean have blue, a, a little bit of white, dictionary. a little bit of magenta. I want that color in here, like that. A little bit of this color down in here. Now I need a little bit of uh, uh, mixing white here, like that. Now see that. Now, pinch the brush, pinch the brush, pinch the brush, pinch it, pinch the brush. Sound effects, too, are good, right? you got to have sound effects. There you go. So I've got that little bit of color there. Becky, I think you're right. I'm spelling it wrong. There we go. There we go. Just kind of put a little magenta down there. See, look at all the pretty colors on this. That doesn't look like anything yet, but it will. All right. So, so far, now here's what we've got. And you're going, yeah, okay. So this is, that's what we've got so far. So now I'm going to dry this, and then we're going to put the other flowers on. Do you and want then to say anything this. before we dry that, or like maybe do an art critique or yeah, let's thank do one quick art critique. I want to do that one quick art. One of the things about being a, one of the benefits, people see you guys put up so many free YouTube's on 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 um, on YouTube, some videos on YouTube. Why why would you go to Ginger Cook Live a dot gallery and and um, and become a member? Well, for one thing, you. We give you a whole different set of artwork to paint, and every week you get new pieces. And then the other thing is, oh, you get personal art coaching. And so I want to just, uh, are you going to do Robins? You got Robins? I have Robins. I don't have, I have a final Robin, but I don't have what you told Robin. Yes, I did. It's in the, it's in the, um, it's, it comes with the first one. Show the first Robins. There's two Robins. I can show you two emails with Robin. All right, hang on. One was number one, and then the, which also was hers, and then what I told her. That's what I did. If you don't have it, you can look for that and go to somebody else while you're finding it for the next one. The thing I have from Susan is um, Sue sent in the screenshot of her phone of what you sent, and then her final. I have one and two of those. Okay, show that. All right, let's pop over to this. Show that. All right, we, we, we want to see that. Well, that's not it. Where'd I go? I went to you. You did. Hi. 
Get out of there. You're as bad as Sammy hogging it up. All right, can okay. you read that at all? No, I couldn't see that at all. I, mean, I, I tell all our church. What, what is that? Right? Um, this is what you wrote to Sue. We did have a nice trip. Oh, uh, good job on the painting with the palette knife texture and colors. Your bottle by the light cup is on, is at an odd angle, is not laying flat on the table. I have an illustrated example below. If possible, change, change to correct this. It's an easy fix. And I know it's going to be hard for you guys to see that. I'm looking on my screen. But she took the bottle, and we're going to bring up, in the meantime, let me bring up Sue's final that she's got. I asked her to send that in, and I was looking for that. I couldn't find it there. All right, so there's Sue's final painting. Yeah, this Isn't is that beautiful? And that's a, that's a Van, Vincent Van Gogh's stone bottle. So this is all done with a pal, so a little bit of brush and palette knife, and that's one of the videos on our website. And I really love these. I think we've seen a lot of people do these, and I think Sue did a really nice job on that. Very nice. Excellent. All right, so what um, Ginger was telling her to do is lay that bottle down. The bottle that's laying down was closer to like a 45-degree angle. It was yeah, nowhere near. Yeah, she had it chipped it. up, so she chipped had it up. chipped up too high. Okay. Now we did. Um, Ginger wrote back one more thing, and Sue said, "No, I'm going to keep it like it is. I'm happy with it what it is, but um, bottles look better. Not trying to be picky, but it looks flat. You need about five minutes of highlighting to fix this. And what Ginger was suggesting is adding a little bit more highlighting to the bottle. And I think he did. She must have done some, but that's I yeah I. Sue said this is where she's going to leave it for right now. Okay, I think it's fine. I yeah. think it's fine. And, it you looks know, good. It, it looks nice. And, uh, and I'd look, be happy with it. Yeah, it's, it looks good. So right. what's an, another one? You got one more here? Um, oh, th th this is an interesting. Here's, uh, oh, yeah, oh, I just jumped right to yeah, that. Yeah, that's that. Sharon's. Sharon, here's the thing. People think that when you get art coaching, you have to wait till you're finished with something. This is uh, uh, Sharon's, and she, she's doing the, the big giant wave and water of masterpiece that we did that's got seven and a half hours with a video and she doesn't want to get four hours into it and discover she's wrong so this is where she's gridded in the the basically the ocean waves and the rocks and she sent it to me to see if i thought she had the drawings right and i wrote back and said she did but I, I used, and i thought it was fine but that's an example of you know sometimes you you, you get it so far and say what do you think if, if you were taking classes from me trust me if we were all in the same room about every hour you go hey come here what do you think and I'd come along and say, yeah, that looks good, or it doesn't, and fix this or fix that. So that's, that's the fun of personal art coaching. All right, let me draw. I think this is dry. Yeah, this is dry. Well, we just killed enough time there where this is dry. All right? I figured we probably would have. So I'm going to come in here now, and I'm going to draw in these other flowers. I've got this sort of U-shaped flower right here, kind of like that. Okay? Kind of here, and then there's another one kind of coming off of here. These are all very kind of abstract. And I've got sort of a U one here, kind of a U-shaped one here, kind of a... And then up here I've got one. Up here I've got, I think I made this flower a little bigger in this picture than that one. And maybe I'll, maybe, let's see, do I want to shorten it up here? I don't know if I do, but maybe I do. Shorten it up. Okay, so there's that one. Then we've got something over here, and then... Um, I'm going to just uh, shorten this up a bit right here. This this cactus is going to get a bit smaller. And then I'm going to do something like this. How's that? So here, there, there you go. So we're going to shorten up that cactus. And um, I'm going to bring this uh, over this one, the top of this. I'm going to make this a little longer. You see, the thing about acrylics is you don't have to be that precise because you can just uh, kind of change it as you go. All right? So now, because we know that, that yellow, what do we know about yellow? It only paints over whites. So the first thing we're going to do is just sort of indicate the shape in, in white, like that. We're just going to take some titanium white, because that's the stuff we want that would be opaque, right? This little angle brush. Let's just do it here like that. So now we're putting in this color. And again, this is one of those things where it's just about shapes and color. And we've got something down here like that that's kind of hanging off the bottom and then another one that's over here that uh, kind of us on this side up here like that all right so those are my three flowers now um, let's see and I think we said we wanted to come out a little bit here so I'm not going to take a little bit oh I didn't want that uh, let me put out some new white because I've got some lot of blue and stuff in that I'm going to move my white down to here because I need some white that doesn't have blue in it 
and uh, start with a clean brush again and just wipe that off. All right, so here like that. And then let's just bring this out. I want think that want that curved out. The lines are either curved in or out. You see how we're just we're sort of we're getting the shape of this. All right. Now I'll take some yellow and some white and then come up here like this and lighten this up a bit toward the center like that a little bit of yellow and then maybe some uh, yellow oxide did we put any of that out come down here toward the center like this come out this way now then then once you just kind of wipe the brush off and then lift it up like this while you're still blending it in I'm going to do one flower at a time. Just stay in, you know, in other, uh, other paintings they have you go all over. And I, I want you to just kind of do one flower at a time. Uh, you, know, the, you know, some blendy stuff. Let's take a little bit of yellow and um, uh, cad red medium. Like that. And let's come out here like that with a little bit of this color too. Maybe a little bit darker on this side. Alright. Alright, so that's that I can probably leave alone. Now I'm going to rinse, because I've been in dark paint, I'm going to rinse my brush. Just let that sit there. And uh, come over here with some yellow and white and see what we can do about this one. The same thing here, a little bit of yellow coming on here like that. Same thing here. Alright, there we go. Boop, you boop, you see? I mean, this is just all right, so now you see we sort of put some of that uh, yellow in. Now, I, what I know for sure is I've got a little bit of a, a light yellow edge on this cactus right here like this. Now we're going to do something called dry brushing where we pinch the brush and we just kind of feather this out. It's, this is dry now, so it's still feathering. If we barely touch it, just sort of almost like you're erasing the edge. Just like you're erasing the edge. So see, we wanted that a little lighter. And maybe we'll take a little bit of um, uh, kind of blue, come right here like this, a little tiny bit of zinc white. I like zinc white for this. I'm going to pinch the brush, and then barely touch it, just going to melt those together like that. Here's a little bit of that color here like this. All right, so this is, this is the work as far as, you know, painting something, is when you're doing this, let's see, let's make this a little bit... Uh, smaller right here. We're going to change that. So I'll take a little dark blue and come back up here, a little phthalo probably, and say that I want this darker right here. And I'm just reshaping in this um, one particular uh, cactus. Alright, so shape that in and let's see what else could I do. As long as I'm, um, as long as we're out here, you know, playing in the flowers, right? What else can I put something, you know? Do I need a little shadow right here on this side? Just bring that with this way. Just barely touch it. Where else could I put something? Maybe a little darker right here. Okay, right under this flower. So, as, you know, you kind of look around, see what else you can do. Um, this is kind of dried a little bit, so let's take some orange now, which is cad yellow medium, cad red medium, mostly yellow. Okay, so pretty bright. And I want to come up this way with some orange coming out of the center like this. I'm using just a little 3 8 inch uh, angle brush by Ruby Satin Silver. And you guys, you know about our, you know, people say, where do you get these brushes? Um, a lot of people carry them. I'm recommending going to the brush guys because um, they ship all over the world. And for instance, Sylvia got a bunch and they only charged her, which I didn't think was much, $25 to ship to Australia. And remember, when you're shipping out of the country, you're not paying tax. You know, at least not in our country, you're not. Maybe they charge you to get it into yours, but th we're not paying tax. So that's, um, that's a, I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal. All right, we just put a little of this dark over here on this side. But we have this shadow under here like that. Okay. See where we're at, see where we're going with this. And then as long as we've got a little orange here, we want maybe a little bit, same down here at the bowl of this one, put a little of this red color. Okay, the same thing down here. I mean, these are not tricky flowers to paint because we're not doing them totally detailed. We're suggesting flowers by the colors, all right? That's all we're doing is we're suggesting some flowers here by adding these different colors. 
All right, so here's a little bit of magenta and white here. Here, we're going to suggest a little bit of a magenta, maybe even here too, on this one. Down here like that. Let's make this a little darker. Red down here. There you go. Cad bed. Let's just darken this orange up here. How about this one? Boop, 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 fourth colors. There, flower. Already it's starting to shape up. Okay. So I want to... Um, uh, mention too, let's see that we've got, do you have this Thursday's release? Or it's going to be Friday because we ran into that problem with the with the film filming, mm. but you've got Thursday's release for our members. I want to let everybody know. It's going to be Friday now, this week's release, and then last week's release. What was that? I even forget. We do so many releases, I get totally confused about we ha what we have and haven't done. Okay. Uh, Oh, the lady in red. The lady in red. The lady. The lady in red. That one. Oh, that was a good one. Um, we got some good ones. Orange. We've that. had some beautiful ones. And I'll tell you what. We've got some to show you that people have done. Now this is a little more cad red, or cad yellow well, we're medium. See, so we're brightening it up. Brightening this up here. See, just pure cad yellow. All right, and here too, like that. Here's some cad yellow. A little bit, a little bit brighter. Remember, we're layering. Okay. How about this? So here's our here's this is going to be the this week's a uh, release uh, for our members this wonderful truck with the daisies this is actually English, isn't that cool? I, f I found this uh, photograph of this old English truck and that's what we're painting. I thought our friends from England would appreciate that. Maybe they, you know, their guys would appreciate an English truck. But anyway, uh, guys all seem to like trucks. See, she's all warming up to the tractor. It's, and, a, um, it's my yeah. way of getting her to warm up. Uh, uh, okay, here we go with the tractor stuff. What is it with you guys and the tractor? Tractor I don't and know. barn, baby. I'm just going to put a little yellow here like this, just on the edge of this, on this one maybe, like that, and then a little bit of yellow. And then what about over here? I want to put a little bit of white and th like almost like a phthalo blue with that yellow, like here. Now what, I want to lighten this up. Look at here, right here, right like that. Maybe even like almost more turquoisey. Look at that. See on this one? Lighten this up right here. See how we're playing with the colors now? I mean, really playing with the colors. And maybe put that color in here a little bit, too. Let's see, there, where's that color? Kind of, dry, kind of dry brushing some of these colors over some of these others. Okay. Like that. And just put some, starting to put, put a little color in. Here's a little bit of green. Here's, here's a little bit of green that's coming down here on the base of this one. And we've got green right in the center of this. And it's, it's a very kind of muted green. Okay, right in the center of this one, okay, and there's a little bit of some sort of little green thing in here, over here too, and over here too, a little bit of green. All right. Oh, see, it's looking good, right? Nice. All right, now, let's see, we keep moving along, purple and white, and uh, magenta, and white, and purple. So it's kind of a combination of those two things in white, and let's... Uh, Let's get a nice uh, edge of dry brushing some purple over this. It does none of this works till you get enough paint on. This is what I would tell you uh, when you're trying to do stuff like this. It doesn't work unless you have um, enough paint on on the canvas to begin with. And then when you start layering, all right, then it starts really to come together. Uh, that would be the best way I could tell you. Just a little bit of magenta and white. Here, like that, right, like that. Pinch the brush. You see me pinch the brush a lot. Come along here, like this. Barely touch it. A little more purple, like that. Wipe the brush, and then work with what you've got. Put a little paint on, almost like you're just spooning it on with the brush, and then t wipe your brush off and work it in. See how I'm just playing with that a little bit. Maybe I want a little bit darker right there. Wipe the brush. Pull it like that. Wipe it down like this. Well, we definitely need something in here. Maybe a little, another, some other color in here. Let's take a little white and thalo blue, and let's put some burnt sienna with that. Kind of that that sort of uh, grays the blue a bit. Okay, so here's this one. Cover up our chalk lines like that, and let's see where else could that color be? Maybe over here a little bit. You don't want everything the same. That's the that's the thing. And I want some sort of blue stuff 
in here. I don't want to talk about whatever's down in here. So I'm just going to kind of hide this little area with some color. And then back over here, I'm going to say that there's some sort of green, um, green cactus right here. This is back over this way, say behind this flower here. This, maybe I'm going to have it in front of here. So here's this green cactus right here, like that. It's coming over here like this. A little bit of that. When you want to lighten something up and you don't want to use titanium, if you'll use a zinc white, it will lighten up an area without overkill. People say, why do you want a transparent white? Because look at this glob of white I'm putting. You want to zoom in on this for me? And um, now look what happens. You see, I've got a light edge to this this uh, cactus leaf like that, and, it, and it's light. It's lightened it up, and I can do that over here too. And but it isn't like I added white. And you to experiment, understand what your colors will do for you. All right, that's what I would tell you. Just really kind of, you can appreciate that. Maybe I want it a little bit more purple next to here. See, purple, purple and yellow are complements. So. If you put some purple next to the yellow, it looks really good. You've got to be deliberate about it, you know, deliberately put it, you know. So if there's some yellow, I'm going to add a little bit of purple right in there. Now, yellow and purple make mud, so you can't have wet purple and wet yellow. Mmm, you didn't know that, huh? See, look, see, I've almost got that mud. Do you see how muddy that is right there? There's no color there at all. It's not purple. It's not. Um, it's Grayed not out. Right here. That's very muddy right there. I would have to dry that almost to fix that. Right there, because I got I got too many colors mixed in. This yellow is kind of wet, and it got into the purple. That's one thing you have to watch. You really, really have to watch that stuff, um, because what'll happen is, let's see, let's see. I want this a little bit lighter right here. This edge. On this one. Okay, like that there, like that, a little bit lighter. I don't want anything lighter back here, and I want some white over here. So John's hard for him to keep up with me because I'm moving all over the canvas. I'm looking in. Um, did you ever ski? Did John, did you ever get to go skiing? Not to the degree you did. Well, one of the things they tell you in motorcycle riding and skiing is they tell you to look several, you know, if you're riding a motorcycle, you don't look right in front of you. You look down the road, oh, right? Oh, you got to. And when you're um, a bicycle, even, and when you're driving a car, and when you're skiing, you, they tell you to look two or three turns ahead. You know, don't just make a turn and stop. Figure out four plans of turns. And what, you'll see me playing in one place, and I'm already planning where I'm going to put the next two colors. And off you go. Don't let anybody know. Well, I guess it's in my mind, darling. It's in my mind. So I could have to be a mind reader now. Oh, I yes. see. Yeah. Yes, that, you have it. That guy, George, he's got it, right? All right, so here's a little bit of white here. Okay. So basically, if I could tap into your brain. You could follow me. But other than that, but that's that's sort of the... Hey, let's give a shout out to Maureen McDonald for a $10 donation. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. That's lovely. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. That will help with uh, Ginger's uh, therapy. <laughs> You're so... you the one that needs the therapy, me? Not me. I don't know who you are tonight. You know who who I am tonight. It's just uh, I I don't uh, just. Uh, no, we appreciate we, that. And you guys coming through, giving a couple of bucks here and there. It helps offset the cost. We we paint for the materials just like you guys do, and we're doing fifty to sixty paintings a month. Yeah, and yeah, we really appreciate that very much. Thank you very much, you guys. And we've had some great uh, help. And then you know we pay it forward. We pay it forward. We want to thank Robin, one of our sponsors, Robin, who I want to show her painting pretty quick here. Robin, very generously, is a silver member. Is that what we call them, silver yeah. members? Is yeah. a silver member of Ginger Cook Live. She has a year subscription. Then last December, when we signed up for the uh, silver membership, one of the things you got was uh, 12 downloadable lessons and of, of the ones that we have for sale on our website, and you had till December to use them. And uh, Robin um, said, you know what? She says, I do so many lessons with you on the website. So appreciate it. I do them mostly anyway because they're usually lessons that we – that she's not done. She, she said, I want you to give those away to somebody that needs them. So thank well, we you thank very you for much. That. There's all kinds of ways to help out people, and we thank you, Robin, for that. And, and trust me, uh, we get inquiries, and um, 
if the person doesn't mind knowing uh, who helped them, we'll share your name if you want us to, or we'll keep you anonymous. Good. But we can anyway, do either one. But anyway, you want to do it. So thank you very much, Robin, for that. And um, it's always been some lovely things that have happened. They're generous members. Okay, so seeing me do a little white here, maybe over here like that, adding a little white, boop, 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 something like that. Okay, so then, while this is drying, let's take a small brush and um, take a little tiny one like this, and let's do some of the little um, cactus thingies. Like that cactus thing. Yeah, I'm thinking that's kind of a technical talk. I know. Well, listen, if I was a botanist, we'd be talking about something else, right? So I'm going to put my glasses <laughs> on so I can see. Let me just explain what cactus thingies are. See all the little bumps of cactus thingies? You see this? Those are the things that hurt you. Those are the little bumpy things that the little thorns are onto. You can kind of see it in this, too. See them? Yeah. They're actually, it's interesting. You, you sock folders are going to love these because they're in really in fairly neat rows. Do you see that? So this is that? one of those times you get to go in a row. I mean, these are in rows for sure. These are patterns. Mine are not in rows. I just didn't feel like doing it. But if you sock folders, you put them in rows if you want to. I'm sock that. folders once again. <laughs> all right, let, let's do a survey. How many people fold their socks? Before they, Show them hands. they take them out of the dryer. When take them take out of the dryer. Of the dryer do you put them, them together or do you just throw them in a bucket? How do you do it? Oh, see, everybody's quiet on that one. They're all quiet. <laughs> okay, because here's the thing. If you just buy white socks, just and You white assume socks, all white socks are the same, even if they come from the same batch. It's a long way down to the feet. Who's going to know? My feet know. And <laughs> who's going right, to know? Wait a minute. Here we go. I do, I do, I do fold. Yes, yes, okay. me, me. Nope. All no. right. Nope. I do. Fold, right. fold. Fold, fold. So the Throw sock, them in a bucket. So the figures. sock folder is going to make these all in a row. You won't be able to help yourselves. You're I just, would measure it. <laughs> and the rest of us are going to, uh, they're doing a dark green now. You know, we can kind of do it, but they're, you know. they're kind of, they kind of wave. I noticed that they have kind of a wavy line to them like this, but, but what we're doing is we're putting in these little dark green um, little dots like this, like almost like seeds. Okay, like that. See on our our cactus. All right. Now we haven't put the highlights on them yet, so it's not that great. But here, let's get some dark blue here. Now on these, we'll put some dark blue. We have a lot of sock folders. Well, but we also that's have a, all right. It looks like a fifty-fifty mix. Well, yeah, and, and it's important to know the kind. Of, you know who you are when you're talking about paint. We were saying this the other day that sock folders um, really make. Um, excellent um, uh, people to own paint in jars. Oh yeah, that was the second. That was how it was came out last night, because, that was last night. Because what happens is is that um, um, if you get in a hurry and put a dirty brush in a jar of white paint, the whole thing's ruined. You have to have a lot of spoons and stuff like that and you have to keep it nice. And what we found is, and you've got to remember to keep that lid back on, if you accidentally leave a lid off of a paint tube, now here's, the, here's why I like tubes, prefer them. If you leave it off, it sort of seals, the whole tube is not gone. But if you leave a lid off a jar of paint, it's gone. The, whole tube is, the whole jar is gone. It's gone, folks, it's gone. So again, sock folders probably never do that. They, 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 they look before they... Um, they stop <laughs> here, and they. Uh, that, I bet that never even happens to them, all right? Never. Now I'm going to take a little burnt sienna on this one, and I'm going to do the change the colors on this one. All right, there's a brown here. Some little dots on here like this. I'm doing it a little more in the rows, just, just in honor of sock folding, okay? Not that I'm going to fold any socks, but if I did fold socks, i think about you when I did it, okay? I so appreciate it. Oh, Terry, we have another donation. Thanks, Ginger, John, and Sammy. Just painted your lover's leap today oh my and enjoyed gosh. it so much. We appreciate that, Terry. Thank you, Terry. Thank you very much. All right, just see, now already it started coming together, right? Let's go back into maybe a dark purple here, and let's put some, uh, let's put some in this one. I didn't do all of them, but, you know, um, did some like that. Okay, now... All right, I'm so it's starting to come together. This is what we're there. painting, right? Like that. 
Lori you, Cass, I never leave a lid off. She's a sock folder. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, and, and these are the guys that, you know, have, you know that one cookie, it, the, the, it's called the one cookie rule, 17 second rule. You drop a cookie on the floor, you have 17 seconds to pick it up, to eat it before it, um, you know, uh, they did a study on that. It. And I'm telling you what, I, I think the sock folders floors, you probably could just uh, come back the next day, pick up the cookie, and they're probably, no, mouse wouldn't have eaten it or anything. It would have been good, right? The cookie Absolutely. still would have been good, right? Now I'm going to come back here with a little dark and shape some Does of these. Does ginger fold? What do you think? No, ginger doesn't <laughs> fold. Ginger doesn't fold. Ginger Listen. barely puts lids on her little paint tube she has. Um, Sammy and I come up after the show and we, ginger. Um... I do wash the brushes, though, mostly. Sometimes. Mostly, I do. I really yeah. do try to wash the brushes. I had a I had a helper one time who worked for me in exchange for art lessons, and she was ma marvelous. Her name was. Uh, yes, I do. Shelley. And Shelley had pink and purple and green hair and nose rings and other rings in other places. How old was Shelley? Shelley was going to college, junior college uh -huh. at the time. She was a contemporary, very good friend of Cinnamon's, and she was an artist. And I got along with her famously, and she was really fun to take places and go places with. Her hair just shot. Her mother was having conniption fits. Did your mother say that, conniption fits? Yeah, conniptions. Conniption fits. It, we don't hear so much. The conniptions haven't had fits in a while. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good. <laughs> so <laughs> conniptions are over. The conniptions are, are over, but the, my mother used to have conniption fits over uh, stuff like that, and her mother was too. And, um, and it was fun because I wasn't her mother. Now, I have to say, if it had been my daughter, I don't know if I could have been so liberal. But it was somebody else's kid. So that was just, who are you to say? Who am I to say? And I, I, all I told her was, and she was so pretty, she was like 22, I said, you know, you got a window, kid, when you're just so beautiful that you take people's breath away. And I'm just saying that... Um, Perhaps purple hair could be safe for, you know, when you're 70 or 65 or 70 and uh, you just want to be a little eccentric, you know. Uh, but uh, anyway, she can't continued on with the purple hair. We would go places. I'm going to just kind of carve out this flower a little bit. See, like that? See with the purple? And um, anyway, so Shelly would take at night, she would take all my paints and she would put make sure the caps were on and she'd lay them all out on my trays. You know, I've got trays like this, right? And she would lay them all out in order, the blues, the reds, the, um, the, um, the, you know, the whites and everything. And they'd be all ready to paint the next day. Wow. And boy, is that ever nice. I mean, it's just, um, that, is a great, that is a great thing to do. I got to tell you, that is a great thing to do. I just can't say enough about doing that. Boy, See? Sammy, you are in the doghouse now, or should I say the bear So, so, so that, bear is a, that is a wonderful thing to do. Yeah, I don't know why Sammy's not doing that for me. He's just sitting around up there, you know, watching the, the, the on-air sign. He could be working, you know. We could put him to work here. You but anyway, um, anyway, that's something that, that I, I highly recommend if you haven't tried it, okay? So as long as I've got this purple, I'm still going to darken this a little bit around here and around here like that. And you see how we're starting to define these flowers now? It's starting to come alive. Now I'm going to rinse the brush and now we're going to highlight these little dark things we just did. So let's take some white paint and um, maybe just a little light blue paint, kind of a light blue green color, and just come up doesn't matter. Pick a side. Let's make that a little wider because it's not going to show up like that. And just kind of, let's see, let's try more white with it. And on one side of the little seed thing that you did, lighten it up. Ooh, yeah? yeah. Now let's take it's a little there. yellow on this one. Remember, what did we say about yellow and purple? They're buddies. They're buddies, so here we go. They're opposite buddies. All right, so a little yellow here on this, maybe a little yellow oxide as we get further down. The, no, the uh, Super Chat is not on iPads or phones. So we has get a little bit on, on right that. Now. I believe it's something they will be working on with phones, though, because this is their market, YouTube. Let's do a little bit of white and yellow on this one. A little bit of a light yellow color on this green one here, like this. Let's just put some lights on this. Now, this is looking cute, isn't it? You guys are going to use... We haven't finished the flowers yet, but it's looking... It's starting to take shape, yes? So, again, with the yellow, like here, like that. Just doop, 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 doop. 
sound effects are good. Somebody asked me the other day about music, and, and there was one time when I did this mural, and we were playing old Elvis Presley songs, and I did this mural. And it, 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 you know, you'll have a tendency to paint as fast as your music. You know that? You want to that speed up. That would be up, true. Put, put, put fast music on. And I'm telling you what, I did that mural in a few days. I'm going to paint a little bit lighter, closer to here. Okay, here we go on this one. Okay, a little bit of light here like that. I do want to break away at some time to show a screenshot of, the, of a rental page. Oh, yeah, do that. And also, I want to show Robin's uh, uh, painting. Or are you at a um, point you want to let it all right, dry so for a I, I would like to dry this. So if we could break away, that would be perfect. What, uh, let me dry. Would you guys Apparently, you have Super that? Chat on a cell phone, which is Google, which makes sense, which is YouTube. It's just iPad. It's not working on yet. Okay, I'm going to um, take you. I'm going to show you. You guys are asking about our downloadable videos. We have now enabled renting them uh, most of them they're not all kicked over yet we will not be renting the european village but the other ones will have a rental thank you joanne for your five dollar donation we greatly appreciate that well, um, thanks, as you can see if you go to our store from gingercooklive.gallery and go to our store that will eventually have the prices there where the where it says buy now for 19.95 it'll also have you can rent this for 4.95 uh, again, uh, with our schedule the way it's been going and the crises we've been having, we haven't got to that yet. But if you click on it and go to the actual Vimeo where you'll be able to watch them and download them and rent them, you can see if there's a rentals available and how much it's for. So that's what the page looks like. Hey, guess what? Who doesn't have a hairdryer? It worked earlier today. Did it get unplugged? Uh, I don't think so. I turned you down, thinking it was going to be on. Well, there's no. Well, here we go. More technical issue. So that's what the the rental. Right now, you just have to click on the lesson. I got it. And now I turned her down. You just click on the lesson that you wanted to possibly rent or buy, and you can see it there. Um, I want to also show you why we have this moment. She's drying. Is Robin's ode to coffee. I don't know. I guess see what I got here. I want to talk about that, can I? Uh, you can now. Is that the first one? Uh, that's the first one. This is Robin's first one. She sent yeah, it in. Yeah, that is. And that's our um, ode to coffee. And if you have our ode to coffee anywhere, I'll show ours too. I would have to actually physically get it for you. Could, is that something you could do? Of course. I'm just sitting here not doing anything. I know. I know. That's what I thought. That's what I said. All right. I so, okay. So, don't you love it when she wrote, I don't do mornings? And so, what I suggested to her was that the coffee in the actual blue mug be a little darker. And that um, the coffee beans that are coming out of the bag that she needs more highlights on. She, need, she needed to add more highlights to those and the ones in the grinder. But what's really cool about this, and I don't know if you can tell, because it's actually not, it's darker than that. Do you see around the edge of her canvas? That's actually a beige canvas. It looks white on the screen, but it's actually a beige, beige canvas. And... Um, uh, and, and I don't know where she found it. We should ask her. Robin, if you're on, tell us where you found that canvas because that looks absolutely wonderful. And so anyway, I made those suggestions to her. Uh, but, uh, and then there was one little thing on the, um, uh, just on the top left edge of the coffee mill. I wanted her to straighten that out so that it was parallel to the one on the right. Now look at, look at the finished piece now, okay? So uh, I want you to see her finished. Oh, 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 you, can sh you can show her what... Uh, oh, what she did finished? Well, you can show her what I said. You know, you had the one where I said it. Oh, the coffee final. No. All right. So show the coffee. Show the coffee final. Coffee final is. Can you got that? Yes. Coming up. All right. Look at the difference. Now you see the beans spilling out. All right. Now you see it's darker inside the coffee mugs that looks more like coffee and again you can't tell how beautiful that canvas is that she did that with but it's a it was this natural rustic beige canvas so I, I just thought this was so charming and this is um you know one of my favorite uh, lessons this is someone wrote us today and asked if we had that available for rent we do not but remember 
for seven ninety uh, nine ninety five, you've got seven days where you can hit all three hundred. What's about two hundred seventy five eighty lessons now we've got, and this is one of them, just one yeah. of them. So anyway, good job, Robin. I really wanted everybody to see what a nice job she did, and I think that will be. I hope she frames that. Really hope she frames that. So, so um, all right. And I'm going to show you. If John wants to flip back to me, I'm going to just show you. All right. So here's here's the. Um, Here's the, here's the actual painting I designed for the lesson, okay? And, um, you know, we've got darker on the corners and lighter in here. And I had written Joy. I liked what she wrote on hers, I don't do mornings. I thought that was really great. So that's one of our lessons we have um, on our website. In the meantime, we've dried this. Let's, uh, um, let's zoom in and see what we can do about this. Now, see, we've got to do something with the center, and, uh, which, which requires a small brush. There we, but we have those, all right? So here's the center of this flower. That's our main deal here. So let's take um, a little bit of the light green, some light green, and let's do a few little light green dots. Let's make that a little bit brighter. All right, this is where you can do a phthalo blue and, and, and um, a, a green and then maybe a little white with this and yellow. Let's see, let's make that a little kind of lighter right in here like this. Okay, so this is our little center thing. Come over here like that. And then I, what I need to do is um, take white paint and make these little dots all over this, like this, like little tiny dots all over this. Isn't this pretty? I love it when we do that. Pinch the brush. You're using a little quarter inch angle and why we like the angles is you can just use this tip of the brush to make little tiny dots. Everybody asks me what tiny round brush do you like and I have some that I like but boy if you leave any of them in water sitting for an hour and your phone rings and who you know maybe it doesn't happen to you sock folders but the rest of us mortals you know you leave a brush sitting in water and you leave one of these little uh, tiny pointy brushes and they're gone they're bent and they're gone. And, uh, but I love these little uh, angle brushes like that. Okay, so here we go. Let's just round that up. So there's our, that's the inside of our flower. I'm going to take a little bit of red and then yellow, cad red, medium, and yellow and come out and darken. Let's just give this a little bit of dark red around here like that and kind of emphasize this. See, sometimes this is all you have to do is just come back with another layer of something. Suggest, um, up here that perhaps there's a little bit of a orange edge up here the top of this and uh, let's see am I might have to put some more yellow out if I've mixed a lot of green in my yellow then the best thing to do is just put a little clean yellow out somewhere and uh, here we go like that so okay all right um, there we go. All right, so now we're going to take a little yellow oxide and come around there like this and just add something in here. Same there, a little bit of yellow oxide right. on here. A little, just one, two, three, stop. One, two, three, one, two, three, stop. A little bit like that. Something like this. Robin, Robin wrote in and said, please tell Ginger canvas has studs on side as decorating touch. What? Well, what? I didn't get that. Apparently the sides of the canvas have got studs running around it, so it's kind of like a pre-framed. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay, so that's a... Uh, oh. That's what I'm assuming that means. All right, that's so, what I'm so she got this, you know, beige canvas. One time I was in Hawaii, and um, we were um, eating at this fancy hotel, and they had a real Monet in there on the wall, real, real one, and he, it was done on almost a burlap-type canvas, and even though he had put the paint on very thick, there were some places where the raw canvas was showing through. It was really cool. It was very rough weave. I mean, like really rough weave. Like, like a, a burlap much fatter weave. weave. Like almost a burlap weave. It was very, very nice, i got to tell you. All right. So here's what we're going to do now. We've got, we've got this. Now we've got a little bit of white. Remember, just put a few little white strokes in here like that, okay, on those. Now, using a little bit of white and, and uh, yellow oxide, just keeping it real simple. I'm going to take my brush like this, and I might, let's make sure that I've got a light edge here where I want my light edges. Before I start putting in, this is our final touches. Do I need to lighten up anything anywhere? Do I need to, you know, maybe put a little bit of a light edge right here with the blue? Did I need to do anything with this little um, 
maybe some pure bit of yellow up here on this one. How about here? Do I need to add some more yellow? Okay, for those little flowers. How about some green, some bright green here, down here like that. Um, just phthalo blue and yellow because we're going to do a few places of pretty bright green. That, you know, kind of almost our circus green here. Going to brighten it up in the center a little bit right there. And um, there, something like that. How about here? Ooh, let's get a little bit darker right in the center of that one. Like that. Okay, so now we've got some pretty little flowers. Um, all right, pinching the brush. Here's the deal. Pinch the brush. Come along with this light color, this sort of almost off-white yellow color. All right? And just make these little, let's see, in this case it's going to have to almost be more white. Go real small, slow, and put some little spiky things coming out of this center flower. Maybe you have to reload every time. Little spiky things coming out. Okay, like that. Now, how about on the edge here? Let's just put some up here on the edge like this. A little bit of white. And these angle brushes are perfect for that because you start with the point edge and then you lift up. Uh, uh, just so easy. Now, it's not that you couldn't do. Here's some spiky ones over here. Out of this one, like that. See, over here in this corner. I'm not putting spikes on all of them. That's the secret. You just put spikes. If you put spikes on all of them, and even if you look at this, see, look, look. There's not spikes on all of them. See? There's spiky things here and there. And there's a few little spiky things like this coming out of these flowers like that. But they're not everywhere. So don't get nuts with the spiky things. All right? Just saying that. Okay? A few little spiky things that are coming out. And trust me, if you um, have ever been spiked by one of those little spiky things, that is not fun. But I went to school in... Um, uh, in Phoenix, Arizona, in a school called Judson, a boarding school called Judson. And this was um, before air conditioning. Honestly, there was air conditioning in the world, but not in our dorms. It was so hot. It was like How the could it be in Arizona? Sun. Yeah, and the, the office had air conditioning. So, um, you know, if you got in trouble, you could go sit in the office. It was worth just kind of goofing <laughs> off and being sent to the office. That's what then, I'm thinking. All right, so I'm going to put just a few going this way, just some tiny ones, just just a, just a few, just to suggest it. Nothing too, nothing too crazy, you guys. Nothing too crazy. And then let's get some more of these little light dots up here on the center flower and kind of exaggerate these a little bit. All right, like that. Let's just prickly on this side between about. 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock, we're exaggerating those little white flowery things. And we'll do some bright yellow ones over here. Maybe some white ones here too. Some little tiny dots, white dots. Like that. And again, this is sort of impressionistic painting. In other words, we already have a photograph of flowers, so we don't need another one of those. Somebody did a beautiful job of photographing that. So all we're doing now is, is just suggesting um, of this flower. Now, you know, and I'm looking at that going, what would happen if I took some yellow and made this one a little bigger? Maybe some yellow and white. This would be the time now to do that if I was going to do it. Maybe make that one a little larger. Okay. Maybe take a little red and make this a little darker. Okay. Maybe take a little red right here on this one on the bottom. Um, is there some place I need to put a little more color? You know, this is the kind of stuff you want to ask yourself at the end when you're coming around and kind of doing a few little more things. Do you want to put a little magenta and white? Someone wrote us and said that their flowers on their cactus where they're living right now, because these are going to start to bloom real soon, is, um, is they're pinker. They're not this yellow. But, I mean, there's a lot of different uh, colors of cactus. All right. Absolutely different different colors. So we're just sort of... We're just sort of uh, um, you know, you know, kind of touching up now 
a few places, just touching up our canvas and saying that do we need to do it. And what would happen? Now, don't, now don't, don't panic here. What would happen if we came in here with the purple, took a little bite out of this flower like this, all right, which doesn't hurt it to just redo a shape and then uh, pull out here. So without drying it, you've got to be really careful. Could, could I lay out some white there? Look at that. I'm barely touching it. Look at that. Little white spiky things right there. See? Out of that flower right there. That's kind of pretty. And uh, oh, Okay, so um, this is kind of our picture. And I think, don't you think this was fun to do? And it just doesn't have to look exactly like mine. I don't want you to get thinking it has to look like mine. I want you to get the feeling of this picture. Right? Make it your own. Make, you know, make, make it your own. In other words, these leaves are simple enough to do. These, these uh, cactus leaves, okay? Absolutely simple enough to do. So there's just not, um, it's, that's not too tricky here, like that. You can, you know, but I like the purple with the yellow. I mean, I think I like that a lot. I like these, these subtle soft greens, which I think are very nice. And you can figure there's a lot of different ways to get those. Maybe I'll bring this one up, up under here like that and just touch it like that. And, you know, what what could you do to make this interesting? How could you, uh, you know, maybe you're going to put a little light color there, something like that. Um, I'm looking, thinking maybe, maybe I want this a, bit, a little bit darker. I'm just kind of redesigning as I go. Maybe I want this as a little bit darker blue right here, like there, like this. Here's some mixing white. Let's just do that. Maybe I want to bring this one up like that. A little bit darker blue there. I like that blue next to this green. That's pretty. That little bit darker blue. Same thing here. Where could I put some of this color and not ruin the effect? I like this blue here too. See? So, you know, play with your colors. This is a good, good, good one to do for colors. To mix colors. It's a really, really good one to to have to mix colors. And I, and I see one more thing I want to do here. Well, no, I think I'm kind of happy. You know, again, you could play all the time, and I'm not against playing, but it's not a bad thing to just, you know, give it a rest, let something rest. I'm going to take a chunk out of this one here, too, like that. Maybe your flowers you all reshaped. Bug, a bug going around in there eating that thing up, or what? What, a bug? Well, no, but you know, there are, yeah, sure, I like that. If maybe there's a bug, we're not going to put it. But you get, and again, you don't need a lot of you don't need a lot of color, but you know you can just you know and it's just here's a little bit of white here. I'm going to show you a little trick with the white. Here's a little bit of white that I'm going to just drop. I'm going to put it on one side of the brush like this, a big blob of it, and then I'm going to drop the white like that. Let's see if I can. If it hasn't dried out on me, I can do that. I can just drop the white like that, make a little ridge and drop the white. Okay. All right, something like that. And then I would say, sign it and we're done. Look at that. So I'll move this out of the way. You can kind of see beside. Maybe you have one that you like a little better. That's okay. Um, here, zoom me out for me, would you? Zoom me out. Zoom me out. All right, so here's our flowers. I made this one a little bit bigger in this picture than I did the first one. I felt it needed to be, I think that felt that this flower needed to be bigger. Um, but if I didn't like that, now let me tell you, if I wanted to make it smaller, here's where I'd cut it, right here. But I kind of like it, so it would be better, and I know this sounds crazy, but now that I'm looking at them side by side, right, I'm looking at them and I like this big flower, but I might want this one to be bigger here. Now let's see if I can put some white with that. Let's say that this, I want this flower right here to be bigger. I might make this one a little bit bigger on both sides, like that, something like that. Make that one a bit bigger, because I made... I made this one bigger. Does that make sense? So here's my green leaf right like that. So here we go, like that. And I made that one bigger, so then that one gets bigger. That kind of thing. So you can do a little adjusting, maybe put a little green right there. Do a, few, a little bit of adjusting. I wouldn't put more of these. We've got like one, two, three, four, five. Well, six. There probably should be seven. Uh. You got seven flowers with the big one. Do I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I, th I knew I counted that out right. It's just, yeah. Just, yeah. I, I have. And, and, you know, it was interesting. In this one, they're all yellow except for, let me show you, except for this little pink one. So just for fun. I mean, we're just, we're not done. You know, let's, let's do that, right? Let's put that pink one in. Just because we have acrylic paint and we can, right? What if we put... <laughs> 
this little, what if we put a little pink one flower right here? It's different than the others. Okay. That's kind of cute, don't you think, John? I think that sort of made it. That little pink one, and I'm going to put a little more red with it. Okay, like that. And then maybe some white. Let's see. Now, this is where you can't, you can't falter now. If you're out of white, put a little more white, because I want a little bit of pinker on top, like that with the magenta. Here, I'll just tap on some pink, like this on top. Just a sort of almost little bud-like flower here, like this. He's just a baby. Look at that. That's. I think that that's kind of cute. Where's my magenta? Am I out of that? You had okay. two spots of it. I know, but I'm out of the magenta. Well, it dried up on me. Here's a trick. Do you ever do this? Go right out of the tube? Oh, no. Yeah. Sock folders would not do that. <laughs> Probably not, but, you know, I don't know what to tell you, right? I like that, though. And I like a little bit, if I'm having that, maybe a little bit of pink right there and down here like this. There, Okay. So I thought that was very pretty, and I like that. And if I had that pink there, maybe, just maybe, I want you to just bear with me. Maybe I'll put a little tiny bit with mixing white now, not the titanium. Maybe I'll just add just a hint of pink right there, just a hint. Well, now you're, not an, even, now you're an even number, not an odd number. Yeah, or that doesn't count this, because it's pink. But this one paint. doesn't count because it's different. This one doesn't count because it's different. So one of those things is not like the others, as Rhonda says. Yeah, one of those things is not like the others. Absolutely want like the others. And so I feel be. like when I'm looking at this, you know, I or feel Zoe like... Or Zoe says, um, now, could you classify that as a color surprise? Yeah, color surprise. I think that would be good here, a color That's surprise. That's going, Zoe. And um, I just feel like just putting a few little spikes on some of these. Not everybody, but there. Just, just a couple. I just feel like down here at the bottom... Um, it, it would not be a miss to have a few little spikes going this way off the edge, something like that. There we go. Because that, that edge right here is a little vague. Does that mean, you know, it feels like a little vague to me. This little edge right here is, is, is a little vague. There. Okay. So I would say that that's our picture. And I want to make this little bit deeper purple right there. There we go. Okay, that's only your third time for saying that's our picture. I'm waiting well, for ten. But I look at see. Here's the problem. <laughs> I'm looking at you, and then I'm looking at the picture, and then I'm saying, "What else could I add?" Right? What could I add? Do I got? Do I have too big a highlights on some of these? Do I need to tone them back a little bit? There you go, like that. Maybe I need to tone those back. Maybe I can't see. You know, maybe I didn't see these enough. All right. So I got to go back and check. But I would say that's pretty good. We'll, we'll stop there. Because really, honestly, a picture like this you could play around with for another hour. But oh, I think you get, the, you get the idea from that. So you kind of see where we're, again, where our genesis of this picture was, was I started off looking at these cactus and thinking, these would be really cool if they had, they just weren't green, and if they had some flowers. They started to get flowers, but they don't have enough. And then I found these pictures, a kind of a close-up of what cactus flowers look like. Because that's important. You've got to know that, right? Got to know your subject matter. You got You kind of got it. Yeah, you got to know what they look like. And I mean, it's just been a while since I've been to school in Arizona. It's been absolutely a long time. Here, I want this a little bit darker right here in the center. Here too, right there. Let's just darken that one there. All right, happy about that. There we go, you guys. That is our flower. That's our cactus flowers. Great. Corey says, uh, "I'm not good at this because I would have to put a flower on the right side." She'd want a flower over here too, right? Yep. Well, and you know it's your painting, so you could put a flower right here. What if it? Let's let's put one for. Should we put one for her? What okay. color are you gonna make it? It can't be yellow, and it can't be the pink. Well, it could be the pink. But then that give you two pinks. Well, you know, you know what it could be. It could be purple. <gasps> I bet it would be purple. What if it was purple? I think it will be purple. I think let's just let's just do it for Corey, right? Let's just, go crazy. Let's just put one right here for Corey. All right. Corey, this is your flower. All right, we're gonna put one here, and you guys, you see it the way it is. So if you don't like Corey's idea, we're gonna don't do, do it, it for her. Don't do it, right? 
But um, Corey's suggesting that we do this, so we're doing it. So this is all her fault. If it doesn't work out, I take. I, <laughs> we don't. We assume real responsibility. No, no responsibility. Ginger's not here for Ginger's doing this, so there's no it's, telling. Look, I was making up the flowers as, as I was anyway, so we could put a flower. I just think it has to be purple and magenta. All right, so I'm going to come down here, probably right here, right? Really? That low? Well, not here. It can't be here. No. It's got to be right there. It can't be It can't be here. Now, do the flowers come out of the pricklies? Is that where the flowers they come They grow from? off the pricklies. Oh, you know what I mean? You can have one here, but then that's a... You know, balance-wise, we're very good. We've got a good picture pattern going, right? The only way you can go is going to be your lower left like you were shooting. It's got to be right here. Yeah, that's right really that the area. only place it can be. Yeah. And it can be right... Um, Right here in the corner, maybe, huh? Oh. Right here, coming up. You think? I did think. That's why I said it, John. <laughs> As opposed to, no, I don't think. <laughs> you know, just, There's some uh, times. But there, see, I think it has to like be You like it there, right in the corner, corner versus there. I like it, no, I like the second place. I like it there. All right, so between these two, but I like the space between these two. All right, let's just put it here. It doesn't matter. I don't really care. We're putting it here. This. People are going to sit and say, for gosh sakes, you people, put the flower or don't put the flower. Get over yourselves. Right? You can just hear the You're taking a half hour lesson and making it in two hours. Only right. we could do that. All right. So now, here, now, what are we doing? And this is going to be a purple flower. Let's zoom in on that puppy. We started off with dark purple, and we made that little purple flower. How pretty is that, huh? Great color. It's great color, right? And here's some white. And um, so little phthalo blue here. Now remember, when you guys are ready to paint your own, put your flowers where you want them. No, don't, because you can just really get them. You can, you can ruin a design by putting them in the wrong place, John. That's not true. You get, you've got I'm to do a balance of the design. I'm talking about these extra ones you're doing. Well, I mean, you don't have to put this one in, but I'm just saying, if you okay. put them in willy-nilly, you can no, have you a hot mess. No, you can't go willy-nilly. You're can't right. be willy-nilly. All right, so I here's a little wrong. green. He's don't wrong. Don't listen to don't me. Don't listen to John. He knows not what he speaks, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, zoom back out. There's our little purple one down there in the corner. And I think that's kind of pretty. I kind of like that. Now, remember, wherever there's a light, there's a dark, right? So if we're saying that that's then let's put a little light next to it on this edge right like that see so that that shows up a little bit and then maybe lighten up this edge let's just give this an edge definite edge here see let's tone back some of these so they're not so bright dorothy from the uk hang held in with us until 3 15 a.m wow thank you dorothy thanks dorothy <laughs> we, we appreciate it you know this was crazy well you saw what it would be like if we put another little flower down here like this and it still wouldn't be wrong to have a little bit of orange with it somewhere. You know, orange, you know what I mean? Like just, just even in here like this, just a touch of orange somewhere like that. Just put it like that. All right, back the way out, you know, way back, way back out there. All right, so there's our flower. I think that that's, I think that looks really nice. That's great. All right, then I'm going to put a little more white right here on this one. There you go. And a little white on this one. There you go. All right, and then we've got enough white. I think on this one we're okay unless we dried it. All right, so there we go, John. There's our cactus flowers. And you can kind of see what they are. And if you think this would be fun to do, I want to invite you to paint them. Try painting this. It might be you might have a good time painting it, and you're going to learn a lot about blending blues and purples and combining colors and why something works on a color wheel and um, stuff like that. Great fun, right? Great fun. Another lesson's in the bag. Another lesson in the bag. Yay. Wait a minute. I still see the brush going. Well, of course you do, because I'm just... I think I saw a bug. We'll go across this painting. <laughs> Is that possible? It can't be right. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bug. I told you there's a bug eating those flowers. <laughs> when all the spots are moving, you're in trouble, man. <laughs> these, these spots are all starting to move now, right? They are all moving on me, you guys. I don't know what to tell you. These are all moving on me. All right. Great fun. This was a great. Thanks for questions. Any last questions before we go? Otherwise, we're going to just have a wonderful weekend. And uh, you guys, uh, 
Uh, and thanks for the donations, guys. They are greatly so much appreciated. Thank you for that. We appreciate it. And look, at, if, you're, uh, if you have a question that nobody answered tonight and you wish we had answered it, um, <laughs> I mean, and that's possible. You might have had a question and nobody answered it, right? Yeah. You yeah. use the contact us form on our website. Mention the question and which lesson you were talking about. Yeah, just got to put a little gingercooklive.gallery. Yeah, see, I mean, do that because uh, I'm just going to bring some green under this flower right here, like that. Because that was bugging me. All right, sorry. Just had to do that. I'm going to just bring that around. So this this one's in front of that one. The new painting the for the members this month, this week, is the truck. Is the truck? The new painting is the truck. That's it's our going to show you like right that. here, real quickly. There's there our truck. Is. That's the new for this week. Not the month, for the week. The and that's a great lesson. You can learn a lot because Ginger changes her mind like two or three times. Ah. <laughs> and it's fun to see the process. I mean, she puts in the radiator and takes it out and puts it in and takes it out. And Is that what I did? I don't I don't. You did, I have you no did the radiator twice, I think, and then the bumper you did some things on. All right. Well, because I... It's I, good. Yeah, I'm going to just brighten up. Did you know that, you know, flowers are going right out of the tube here? I just want a brighter yellow on this one, and sometimes it takes two coats. Guess uh, what? Socks folders have our hands over our eyes. No, no, it takes two coats, but, I mean, if your brush is clean, there's no reason why you can't go right. Got to get that yellow right next to the purple. See there? Yes, That's we nice. understand we want tractors and barns. I appreciate your support. We will get one. Tractors and barns, okay. Oh, my. Oh, my. Tractors. Now, where does that come from? The Wizard of Oz again. What, tractors and barns? No. Or oh, my. The oh my part. I never heard that. You who knows these things? You got. <laughs> well, wait, no, wait a minute. What was in your brain the other day? Oh, we won't even go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't go that one. <laughs> there is some information in this lady's brain that should not be there. Enough said. Wow. Oh. Wow. I mean, that goes back to what you were five years old. I think we determined. Yeah. And five. it's still taking brain cells. Well, I just have a long memory. I'm like an elephant. I remember things. I remember But there's things. some things you just don't need to remember. Yeah, lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Wizard yeah. of Oz. Were you not there for that either? I think we're going to have to get the Wizard well, of Oz maybe and I have a date night. I haven't seen that movie in a while. It's just, um, let's see. Well, how old do you think I was when I saw it? Well, don't answer that. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> just. Well, it could have been just last year. They show it every year. Uh, do they? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's I a haven't classic. seen it. I'm just toning back some of these. It's so good that we're done. Me. I mean, and she's put her paintbrush down, and I just had to tone back a couple because they were just kind of you moved the painting they were just on making me, me a little. I crazy. had that all squared up in my frame. What did? All right, I'll leave it alone. I should sign it. And yes? put the red slash through it. How can she get that? I know the bears. I'm telling you. It's just um, I. I should sign it. Ginger needs to watch The Wizard of Oz. I saw it. I've seen that movie, and then I saw. I've seen that a long time. You know, they just back. You know, when there was black and white television. <laughs> just, you know, you watched anything that was on that was um, that was available, right? Of course, it's a lot a better in color, right? Yeah. Um, here, let's just finish that. Okay, I guess we're going to sign this one here. And I'm going to uh, the other one. I'll sign too, and I'm going to put my little red slash through the name. Like so. Then where's that other picture? Where'd that go? It was right in front of you, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Here it is. All right. Let's get the red. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Red slash through both of them. There you Sign go, Sign, sealed, and delivered. All right. It's now done. She can no Who's, longer touch it. Who said? I just did. Oh, well, you could you quit lying to people, John. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That. Come on. Those little things make a difference. Yes, you they do. You do a little thing like that. You know, you got the little brush out, and you go, where in life would this be awesome? <laughs> and then there it goes, right? So, all right, but we will quit because you can overwork it, and we don't want to do that. So this was fun. I think this was fun. It kind of gets in the spirit. Spring's here. You know, it's March. And um, uh, we'll have some, we got an exciting new lineup for March. We'll tell you about more of that next week. And we um, do. Thanks very much, you guys, for watching. And be sure to catch the video we did earlier on how to do the stucco for, uh, Not, that was no, the live, the, the absorbent world, ground. Episode four. Raz, Re reality art studio. We had to redo the stucco. So I show you absorbent how to do that. Absorbent ground. It's called absorbent ground. Sorry, it's late, man. It's <laughs> late. It's late. <laughs> and uh, we promise next week Ginger will be back. Uh, Virginia will be gone vacation. 
let's just not get <laughs> snippy here, you know. All right, you guys, most fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody. Good night, all. Good night.